Hey GX community, this is GX Bob coming to you guys on a very, very beautiful day in the very, very beautiful month of May. If you guys have been following my channel, you guys will all realize that most of my content are very, very super easy modifications to do. They're all very practical. I haven't done anything super extreme yet and why is because I like to gear a lot of my content towards soccer moms, your daily do-yourselfers, and your weekend warriors. We want to tackle things that are going to be quick, super cheap, and super useful. Which leads me to this video I'm going to do right now. I typically share some of my personal frustrations with you that eventually leads to a video that poses a solution. So no matter how dumb a video may seem to some of you, they are helpful to other of you dumb fuckers out there. Okay, so with that being said, with that being said, I wanted to share something with all of us. So have you guys figured it out? Huh, just by looking right there? Yeah, we're gonna do sunshades today. I know it's gonna seem a little stupid. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little redundant. It's gonna be a little rhetorical, but you will be surprised on the things that I find with these sunshades. We are going to pick the perfect sunshade for your GX460. They are not all made the same, guys. So right on the floor here, guys, we have so many different types of sunshades in different sizes, different shapes, different colors. But there's two main types of sunshades out on the market. They're the foldable types, the foldable cardboard types, and they're the collapsible types. You know, the collapsible types, what I'm talking about, they fold up and then they spring into a little ball just like this and they tuck away into a little round little bundle just like this and then you got the foldable paper cardboard type that just works like an accordion and then they fold back in a lot of people what they do is when they go to the store they assume that all sunshade fits all one size car and that's that's further than the truth we got sunshades that's going to fit a honda civic windshield and then there's going to be sunshades that's going to be large enough to fit a gx460 but just because it's a large sunshade that doesn't mean that it's going to fit a GX460. A contour of a GX460s are a lot different than other SUVs. We've got big old handles right here. Um, just the shape of our windshield and the contour and how deep it goes. Um, we have to account for all that. So let me tell you why I wouldn't choose a foldable cardboard type of sunshade. Let's go ahead and go inside the vehicle and I'll show you why. No matter what type of foldable sunshade you guys get, you're always going to run into one issue, which is having to use your sun visor to hold it open because they don't hold um, onto the windshield by itself. So let's go ahead and use this one. If I was to open this up, there's no way this is going to stay up unless I use my sun visors to hold it open and even if I use it to hold it open you can totally tell that it is the wrong size it doesn't fit custom like a glove and when you have to squeeze your sunshade in like this what you're doing is you're ruining all the creases so when you do take this back out you're no longer holding the original creases anymore. You're creating additional creases in here that's not supposed to even be there. Another problem with these foldable sunshades is this. Once you finally put it together, you have to find a place to put it. Most people put it right here. Most people, most people put it right here. And this is a huge eyesore. It's in the way of everything. And if you're the other half, you take this and you just throw it in the back. The problem with throwing it in the back, guys, is by the time you need it again, you're going to have to reach back there and try to grab it from where you left it. And that's no fun. I grabbed another foldable cardboard sunshade in a different size from the first one we used. I'm going to show you guys exactly how it's installed here. We're still going to use the sun visors up here to hold it up. The problem with these is they do not block out 100% of the lighting. So let's go ahead and check it out. Come closer. You're going to see right here. It's letting light in. Let's go to the other side. And on the driver's side, it's letting light in also. Which leads me to show you guys my first choice in sunshades. They are these collapsible type of sunshades because they collapse so small, they're hidden. And... If you buy the right size, they block out 100%. And I'm going to show you what the right size is on a GX460. So let's go ahead and measure our windshield. So right off hand, we're just going to go ahead and measure 
the bottom portion of our dash right here, which out, comes out to about four and a half feet. We're gonna measure the top portion right below our sun visor. It's gonna come out to four feet. And if we measure from top to bottom, we're gonna come up with about two feet. So we're looking at four and a half by two feet by four feet. Now that we measured our windshield and we know exactly what size it is, well, let's go ahead and measure this one. This comes out to about four and a half, four and a half, and a little over two and a half. But here's the secret, guys. The reason why these can actually be over four and a half by four by two is because these are scrunchable, collapsible type of sunshades that when you do scrunch them in, they block all light. And let me show you another benefit. Let's go ahead and install this in the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and take this sunshade right here. I am going to go ahead and just slap it in right here. This center portion right here is, can overlap one another. So that's adjustable right there. If you take it, put it all the way down. You could go ahead and put it right in front of your mirror. Put it over your, there. Look at that guys. This sunshade is actually over four and a half feet by four and a half feet by two feet. And it fits perfectly. It blocks 100%. It's not going anywhere. I do not have to use my sun visors to hold it. It self holds itself because it's a little over large and it scrunches itself. And it's using its scrunching ability right here on the side to hold itself along the armrest. Check this out. Here you go, 100% blocked lighting. Look at that, driver's side blocked, block. No issues. If you take a look up here, it's not gonna fall off on its own. Very flexible right there. Just put it back up and it holds by itself. Let's go to the front of the vehicle. It blocks 100% of sunlight going into your vehicle. So let's go ahead and collapse it. These are super easy to collapse, guys. We just take it down, fold it in half. Once we fold it in half, we twist it in opposite directions until it turns into a round ball just like this. And we go ahead and tuck it between our seat and our center console. Out of the way. Also, I know a lot of you guys love buying name brand stuff when it comes to your cars, your clothes, your purses, your wallets. I'm letting you guys know right now, just because Lexus slaps their name on a sunshade doesn't mean that it is custom sunshade made specifically for Lexus. It's just another Chinese brand cardboard foldable type of sunshade with the Lexus logo slapped on here. So if you're comfortable paying 40 to 50 bucks and, and up on a simple sunshade that should only cost you $10 without the name brand, then, then go for it. I'm going to prove to you guys right now why name brands do not work. Oh my God. Who is that? Get your shoes off, take them off, get you some of this slow down. I'll take you up and down these hollers and heels. Let me show you how. Good lord, be still my heart. It's fucking aching. I think I'm in, I'm in love. Who is that? <sighs> Hurry, 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 hurry. Um, um, um. Name brand. Hot chicks love name brand. Hot chicks love name brand. Hey, skank ass bitch ho, why don't I give you a ride to Pleasure Town, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. Ooh. Where the hell did you get an egg? 